Uh, hi, this is a um, question about the proposals. Um, so I was wondering, since I heard that the proposals is more based on uh, the idea more than, than uh, how qualified you are necessarily, I was wondering what separates a good proposal from a great proposal? And the second thing is that, um, um, sec the the second thing is, uh, like, how much detail do we need to put into the proposal? For example, we only have two more days, right? We don't really have uh, that much detail we can put in. Um, so how far do you want us to go with that? Well, as far as you can, basically. <laughs> and some of the great proposals I've seen have this link to the source code repository with the prototype. It may be only 200 lines, but it means that first the student understands the idea, it's their own. Second, he has thought about the implementing it and he, he actually opened an editor and wrote some code. So that, the, the great proposals I've seen look like that. It doesn't mean that you have to do that. On the other hand also, two days is, is plenty if you have the idea and want to work on it. I mean, the writing part doesn't have to be more than a few hours, but it's more about building the idea in your head that takes more time. To elaborate on that, the, you have to make us believe that you believe in the project. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that my first student did, uh, Alex Bradbury, uh, he was working on what we ended up calling Arial, which was basically uh, a training engine. So we were able to train, generate some Ruby from something else where we marked up exemplar documents and then we could read on a documents that didn't look exactly like that and extract the information. To show me that he actually thought about this, he pointed me to some papers where I could read about the techniques that he'd be developing for this. Um, he didn't write a line of code for the proposal. He pointed me to this is the stuff that I'm reading about so that I know that I can do this. The literature, literature review. The literature review. So if you're doing something interesting like that, and again, that was a completely Greenfield project. It fit in with Ruby because he was developing it in Ruby. That particular approach may not be appropriate for GNOME, may not be appropriate for GCC, might be if you want to propose a different diff mechanism for uh, TikiWiki, might be appropriate. But a diff mechanism is me. <laughs> so that isn't going to fit in the summer, but at least being able to point to stuff that helps us believe that you understand your idea and believe in it and have appropriately sized it for the summer. Believe me, if it's too big, we'll help you shrink it down. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's too small, we'll tell you, you know what, we think this is too small to be done in the summer. It yeah. also depends on the organization. Yeah, we can work on the side, yeah. but it's yeah. just the quality, how yeah. much thought you gave to it. Although that sort of leads to a second point. Uh, if you're available to answer questions on your proposal, like that's yeah. always a huge help. It shows us that you'll be there, and it gives us an indication that if you actually get accepted, you'll also be communicative. Yeah, and, and I mean, based on past experience, we can't you we can we can just give you if you are not there to answer, we just assume that you're assume not going to the be there in the future, right? Mm -hmm. We assume the we assume the worst. If there's no details and you don't answer, we assume that you don't know. You just copy pasted this. It's like but if it's not deep yeah. enough, we ask you, can you add more detail about how you approach that? Can you expand on what algorithm do you think you are going to use? We ask and you add to it. So think about it. Build a good model of the idea of what you want to do. Write it down. Get it in. Two days doesn't matter. You, you don't need to write a paper about it. <laughs> Just a few paragraphs yeah. and you know, be specific. Yeah, I like to think that you see uh, students can, can do a very good proposal in two days. And I think so. so. <laughs> I, I'd, be, I'd be shocked if, yeah. depending on, again, it depends on the project and what you actually want to do. Most of these proposals could be written and written well in about an hour to an hour and a half. And I've seen on the other side of this application thing, most of them come in at the last hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but maybe they were drafting it before you don't need a draft. Yeah. <laughs> Some students 
do come to the Middle East and say, hi, I have this idea, do you think it's good or bad? Yeah. yeah. But most of them, it's like conference proposals, they all come in at the... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like handing in your assignment, you never do it. <laughs> One week before the deadline, right? Yeah. You know it's going to take you three hours, but do you do the three hours when you get the assignment? No. Or do you do the three hours right before the assignment's due? <laughs> And then how late the pubs are open. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that you're writing at 3 a.m. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the question here.